trees are so deeply rooted within the earth, they must hold some ancient wisdom from deep. They must have much to tell us if we just listen. We need to quiet our minds to understand what they tell and listen to their voices whispering secrets through rustling leaves. Trees silently communicate with one another in the forests using intricate root systems and mycorrhizal fungi. We need to connect our roots deeply with theirs to understand their wisdom. Now we're here of oak trees that have lived for more than a thousand years and yew trees which has lived for a few thousand and one of the oldest trees in the world is the bristlecone pine which has seen probably 5,000 years on earth. How come? Now any tree can die either with lack of water and nutrients, damage from humans, disease, but Trees can genetically clone themselves, which can outlive the parent, and in a sense live forever. But is the new growth a new tree, or just simply an offshoot from the old tree? And if the old tree is chopped down, and the new cloned tree survives, has the first tree really died? Now this process is called Phoenix Regeneration and by repeating themselves trees can revive even after they fail. Branches become new trees of their own. Now a hollowed out tree may eventually be the source of the instability that causes a tree to fail. But roots may form inside the hollow being fed by the dead wood. So by the time the old tree is unstable a new tree may have formed from the inside out. Another way phoenix regeneration works is if a fallen tree are allowed to remain in situ with roots remaining in the ground, they can continue to grow in a horizontal position with their branches growing upwards towards the sky. And if the crown of such a tree makes contact with the soil, it can form adventitious roots plants or tree roots that form from non-root tissue so that the tree acquires new root in position. Eventually the original root system and the horizontal trunk may die and decay so that the tree appears to have walked across the landscape. These collapsed but regenerated trees are called phoenix trees. New roots can form in the same way in the layering of branches that bend down to touch the ground, such as some of the ancient willow trees. And these branches can prop up aging trunks and make them more stable. I've always been curious about the process when you see fallen trees which you think shouldn't have really survived. So I've got to read up on it and see if I can find anything out and I found it very interesting. And I hope you lot do as well. Thanks for watching.